Now, let me ask you this. Would you willingly watch an alcoholic drink five liters of vodka in a little over an hour? No? Then why are we doing that with mukbangs? So right off the bat, I just want to say a little bit of a trigger warning that if you don't like lip smacking or food noises or eating, there might be some clips in here that use that. So I apologize in advance. Today, we're going to be talking about mukbangs because the internet right now is flooded with mukbangs. So what is a mukbang? Mukbang started in Korea in about 2011. And mukbang literally translates to eating broadcast or eating show, which is essentially the point of a mukbang. It's sitting down in front of a camera, much like a Twitch stream, interacting with the followers and eating. Little bite. <laughs> Now, I do want to make the distinction between competitive eating and mukbangs. Because competitive eaters only eat that large amount of food during competition, so really not that often. Whereas mukbangers make the most of their income from eating gratuitous amounts of foods. So I'm talking daily, weekly, time after time in very short, quick succession. Now, I'm going to speak from a purely American perspective because, quite frankly, that's all I know. Obviously, other cultures could be very different. Now, on average, Americans consume 3,600 calories a day. <laughs> mm. That was crazy. Mm. 3,600. The daily recommendation of calorie consumption is generally between 2,000 to 2,600 calories. 3,600. That is almost getting close to double and it's rising year after year. So when you see these mukbangers consuming over 4,000 calories easily during a single mukbang, which generally happens between an hour and two hours, they're essentially eating double their daily intake of 24 hours within two hours. That's insane on your body. That is a binge. That is binge eating being monetized and recorded and put on the internet. Why is that okay? The UK recently did a study that found that if children watched one extra junk food commercial a day, that at the end of the year, they were more likely to consume over 18,000 extra calories within that year. 18,000 extra calories from one commercial. Now, I would go so far as to say that the majority of children and teens aren't even watching traditional television anymore. They're on their phones, they're online, they're consuming internet media on top of everything else. Mm. Why are you so good? <laughs> I know I mentioned it earlier, but what exactly is binge eating or a binge eating disorder. Simply put, it's defined as eating a large amount of food in a very short period of time. A large amount of food in a short period of time. That just sounds like a more medical way to say mukbang. Binging is a type of eating disorder. It's disordered patterns with food. Your body's not made to binge. It doesn't like it, it's unhealthy, it's not sustainable in the long-term environment of being alive. It's not okay. There's a lot of issues and health concerns surrounded with binge eating, which is essentially a mukbang. Popular mukbangers have not been escaping these health consequences from binge eating on camera. Mmm, that was a good chicken tender. Mmm. Put some ranch on it. Mmm. Ooh. Even Nicholas Perry, better known as Nicado Avocado on YouTube. I'm going to butcher that name throughout this, so please forgive me. I'm probably just going to call him Nick, so I don't butcher that name. But Nick this year spoke in a men's health magazine in an interview and said, 
and I quote, I started having erection problems. It never happened until I started doing mukbangs. So not only is it affecting your overall health, binge eating affects your sexual health. When I filmed mukbang videos, the very nights I could not fall asleep because I was just so full. Miss Mina is another popular mukbanger who a few years ago made a video detailing why she stopped doing mukbangs directly because of the bad effects and consequences of overconsuming food for her viewers. And she listed quite a few ailments that she was experiencing during that time. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. To be a little more blunt about it, mukbangers are essentially heroin addicts shooting up on camera uploading it to YouTube and making money off of it. The only issue is food addiction's a little more nefarious and subtle in the way that you don't need heroin or alcohol or tobacco to survive, but you do need food. So it's hard to tell someone to restrict what is essentially their basic survival instinct. It just went haywire with overconsumption and binging. But it's the same thing. You're telling a food addict to eat food to make money. Now, unfortunately, you can even see the physical ailments and weight gain on some of these mukbangers, like Nick from Start to Finish, from Chantel, Hungry Fat Chick. You can see that mukbanging hasn't been treating them well. You can tell their bodies aren't happy with what's happening. And I think that's kind of the saddest part of it, any of it. And I do get lonely. At the end of the day, where does the responsibility lie when it comes to mukbangs? First off, people would say YouTube, but I disagree with that. YouTube is just the vessel for content creators. They're not making the content themselves, they're merely a hosting site at the end of the day. So I think more of the responsibility lies on the mukbangers themselves and the viewer. The mukbangers, when it comes to the after effects of what they're doing, they're glorifying the act without showing side effects, without talking about the risks. All they show is the benefit. They glamorize it. It's nothing different than a heroin dealer wearing jewelry and showing their money and spending wildly. It's two different kinds of addicts showing their wealth in different ways. But most importantly, I feel like the responsibility falls on the viewer. Self-responsibility is huge. And if you tune in and watch these mukbangers, you are funding someone's self-harm at the end of the day. Do you want to spend your time and money on someone that is hurting themselves and making a culture that's hurting others? Overconsumption is hurting us. And I would argue that mukbang plays a really big part in that in the internet right now. It's normalizing binge eating behavior and that's not okay. We're gonna see a rise in those kind of disorders, which is really unfortunate. There's my discourse involving mukbangs on YouTube and mukbangs in general. I would really like to know what you guys think. Do you watch mukbangs yourself? Do you enjoy them? Have you even heard of them before? Is it something that you find questionable? Do you think it's hurting people? Just give me your thoughts. Let me know what you wanna see for future videos. You can find me on Instagram under Wholesome Vigilante, and you can also find me on Twitter, even though I don't really know how to use it yet. But like I said, let me know what you think, and remember to be better, do better, and have a good day.